<coughs> Hello Internet, it's Olivier and today I'm going to be doing a review of this portable airbrush. I've put some um, acrylic, golden high flow acrylic. Um, and uh, before I talk about the specs and who it's for and what I think about it, whatever, I'm just going to do a bit of a demo to show you what, it's, what it does. So I'm going to start with um, just generic lines and I'm about six inches from the wall. I'm going to move a bit closer. Swirls. So I'm going to take out the cap so I can get even thinner. It's not the thinnest airbrush though. And I think that's about as big as it'll go. I'll do a bit of a fill as well. And a few dots. So yeah, here's the demo. So now I'm going to tell you what I think about it. So, first of all, who it's for. The reason I bought this is for my murals, so I can use spray cans, and then um, instead of using a stencil cap, I can use this. It saves a lot of paint, and it's uh, cleaner and all that. I thought, let's give it a try. Also, this is USB-C rechargeable. Um, I've used this together for about, now I'm saying about two bars. And I've used it uh, on and off uh, with the demo and you know trying it um, a few days ago or whatever. All in all, close to 40 minutes, um, and it's still got two bars. Um, and when it runs out, then I can just plug um, a portable charger when I'm out in front of the wall and uh, go with this. So I think it's pretty cool. You've got two main designs. Uh, you've got different companies. Uh, this one is um, by a company called. Uh, don't know. <laughs> I leave the, the link, I got it on Amazon, I leave the link down below. Um, but basically this one is start and stop, so as I'm pressing, it starts. And as I lift up, it stops. Most of the models you'll find, um, they've got a, a push button and it's just on continuously and then you just use whatever. The reason I bought this one is because I thought, well, that will save the battery. Um, but I think if you're bigger, the other type would be a lot easier because when you're airbrushing, you're pressing down for the air and then you pull back for the paint and you push forward to stop the paint, the paint flow, but you don't lift your finger. So if somebody knows how to airbrush, they'll automatically do it normally. It does go back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. So that kind of, that kind of thing. But if you're new to airbrushing, as um, automatically you will want to just lift your finger when you start painting and you'll find because there's about a one second delay to kick the, for the compressor to kick in, if you lift your finger up all the time, it, you're going to find it a bit confusing. So, if you're a beginner, I would uh, recommend getting um, either the cheaper version, the one that's on all the time, you'll find it a lot easier, or get a traditional compressor with a tank. Um, you can pick one up on eBay, Amazon for like £100 or less. Uh, between 50 and 100 pounds, but get one with a tank, don't get one without a tank. Um, and a traditional airbrush, a hose, all that stuff. I think that would be easier for a beginner, as opposed to getting one of those or the other system. But, you could also try with those, um, and if you uh, experience in airbrushing and you want something less portable to take it to the wall or whatever as an add-on, this is great. This, I'm really surprised how good this is. Um, 
yeah, I don't really know what to say about it. It's portable. Another thing that, okay, one thing that I don't love is this. So this is the airbrush that comes with. So this whole thing is 80 pounds. Um, so this is a male thing, as you can see, and that's female. Uh, Nick Lips or Revolution or pretty much any eyewater airbrushes uh, is the opposite. It's like you get the male thread. So you can't put that in there. It won't work. This part comes off. <coughs> Whatever. So if I was to take that off, I could fit it in. But the mechanism doesn't quite work. The, the air just comes out and it doesn't work. So you'd have to use those airbrushes. Or you'd have to use an airbrush that's got a female um, thing. Like the more expensive eye water airbrushes or Apache, Apache, Apache or something. So basically if you're buying this setup, you are going to use this airbrush. But the airbrush is pretty good. It's, it's obviously not an eye water, it's not a micron, but it's, it's pretty decent. And if you like me, you're looking for um, something that will allow you to do some details on the wall or whatever, this is plenty. So if I was to do, um, well basically I got it for the, deti the details around the eyes. So if I was to do a couple of, a couple of eyes, uh, let me see if, if I'm in the frame. Alright, so... Okay, um, so the main reason I got this is to do the, the blades in the iris with different colors. And also, um, the high lash is not so much funny enough, but the inside of like the, the pink bits there, um, you know, it's just add some detail there and I mean, obviously, if I get this, I can use use it for the eyelashes and what. So yeah, so just quick thing. I think this would be cool. I think the main down, um, the the downside to it would be longevity. I don't know if that would last in time. Um, I've had um, eye water airbrushes, and uh, the compressor I was using before was Spar Max, I think. Um, and you know, I can go to the job, and I know that's gonna work. There's no way I'm taking this to a paid job because I was. Uh, eventually it's just gonna go okay I'm done so I think it's really cool but as an add-on thing you know they're quite cheap you can get a couple of couple of them if you get the the other model the con the continuous one is like 40 pounds I think with the full setup could get a couple of those that would be cool um, so yeah you can't do a full-on mural with this uh, it won't have the, the power this is about 20 psi and I'm gonna use 40 psi um, so I can't do like a sky ceiling with this, there's no way. But there are some certain things that you can do, like, you know, most of this I would use spray cans for, and then I just add a few bits with, um, with the airbrush. So personally for me, I think this is really cool. I look forward to taking it on the actual wall and see what it's like. Um, but I will be mainly using my um, Eyewater Airbrush Eclipse 0 0.35 for uh, most of my serious murals, I guess. So that's it. That's my two cents on this um, airbrush thing. 
If you're interested, I'll put it uh, in the link below and um, on the blog of my website I've got loads of help on what to choose um, on all of that stuff. And I'll do a blog post as well about this so you can read about it. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. See you later.